Hello and welcome to another Photo Party Station video tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create photo strips in Photo Booth Upload. The first thing we need to do is launch Photo Booth Upload. Once the program launches, we can click on OK, and then we can hit S on our keyboard for settings. That'll bring us to the settings screen. Now from here, because we want to create a photo strip, we'll need to create a page design, and we'll click on the page designer tab up here at the top. Next, we click on create new page layout. Now I recommend using a PNG file for this. I'll browse my computer for a two inches by six inches PNG file that I've already created in Photoshop. You can see here that I have a few to choose from. I'll choose this one right here. I'll click on open and that opens my photo strip PNG. Just to reiterate, that's two inches by six inches tall. Now, the very first thing we need to do is adjust the page size. So we need to change the page size to four by six, and then we're going to click the photo strip checkbox. Great. Now that we have our page design and layout all figured out, we need to add four photo holders because there are four places for us to put a photo. So under photo holders, I'm going to hit the plus sign. And right now my camera is set to shoot horizontally, six by four. So I'm going to keep that six by four, click on OK, and that will create my first photo holder. Now, if you don't see it, left click your mouse and drag the photo holder until you see it on the screen. Here's mine right here, it says number one but it's a little small so I'm going to right click and drag down so that it enlarges this photo holder once I make it the right size I can position it in the very first slot just like that and now I'm going to repeat those steps for photo holder number two three and four Now if we want to add a message to each one of these photos, for instance, before it takes photo number one, it says, get ready for photo number one, we can edit that message after we click the plus sign, and we can enter that message here. drag that and just make it a little bit bigger this is all done with my mouse this is very simple I'm gonna add the fourth and final photo holder number four I'm going to right click drag down make that a little bit larger till it fills the screen and that looks perfect now if I wanted to go back let's say to photo holder number one because I didn't give it a message it's blank right here but I can still highlight these photo holders so here's photo holder number one if I right click on it it brings up this message box here and I can now go back and edit this message. And I'll go back and I'll edit the message for photo holder number two. Okay, great. Now that I've configured my page layout, I can click on OK and I'll simply select this page design and I'll tell photo booth upload to use this page design in this format with four photos moving forward so that's all we need to do to create photo strips now when I click on OK and I click on photo it will now take these photos 
one at a time. So I wasn't quite ready for that one. Uh, but here we go. Get crazy. There's my message at the top. And it will take each photo and place that photo into each photo holder. Photo number three. And here's the message. Smile last chance. And that's it. And you can see it gives me a nice little preview on the left hand side. Because I have the print button enabled, I could print directly from here. I could also automatically print so that I wouldn't have to see this screen at all. I would only click done. I can enable or disable the Facebook, Twitter, and email buttons and the share button all together. But instead, I'll just click on done. That photo will go to my output folder and I will be able to upload that photo to the iPads and then to Facebook, email, and Twitter. So that's how you create a photo strip using Photo Booth Upload. I hope you found this video tutorial helpful. If you have any questions at all, please visit photopartystation.com. You can always email us at info at photopartyupload.com. Thank you so much for watching.